Or maybe we weren't already playing on the Forge map, we just don't even recognize it. Oh, Ooh. what if these are all Forge maps? <laughs> Dude, if these well, are shit. all Forge maps, that would be insane. <laughs> They're all Forge maps except Behemoth. Fuck Behemoth. <laughs>
their rash. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's not like the worst UI in the world, but there's definitely mm-hmm. spots with, with, for example, the customization. I still hate how everything scrolls left to right, yeah. and I don't know why we can't have like nice lists where you could fit a lot more options. You have to talk about the fact that 343 has spoken about how the UI is one of the reasons they've had struggles adding in more playlists, yeah. and I, I think I think that alone is a reason that the, the UI probably needs some type of revamp. How do we get this to support you know the Halo experience, like all these different ex- playlists, all these different experiences? And yeah, kind of go from there. Like I said, obviously, I think the customization UI could use some work too. And mm-hmm. even even stuff, even stuff when you get into the custom games or you're trying to make a game mode or you're trying to find a file, because the file system in this is very similar to the file system in H5, where you have those big boxes. I think that could use some work. Right. But other than the playlist, maybe some of this other stuff, like they'd rather have a big picture of the armor coating when they're scrolling through rather than a name or something like that you know oh i think definitely for like an armor coating you definitely need to see like that coloring in that image um i don't really like how it kind of overlays on top of the spartan though when you're trying to customize your spartan um yeah. i would like to see maybe kind of more like vertical to the side of course they move the camera on the spartan so that part that you're editing isn't covered by the ui but you kind of like the full picture i think one important thing to note too is the ui for customization it's not my favorite right now but it works Mm. but imagine two or three years down the line when we have tons of armor pieces and tons of armor coatings i know they're locked into the armor cores but even at that you would expect some of these older armor cores to continue to get new armor coatings and pieces i would think and so down the line you might end up with a ton of options and you're gonna have to scroll through all of the little box pictures and i think that's going to be a little clunky right yeah because you can only see like really see like four or five at a time yeah yeah and everything else is kind of like i can kind of see it but it's faded uh how would you do the uh, multiplayer ui because i know like games like call of duty it's like one of those things where you click on like social and then it drops like a drop down list of like everything you can kind of just pick and choose what you want for like the match composer type of thing that they have. I kind of agree with that. I think you could split them up pretty easily like that where you have basically menus and sub menus because well right now the problem is there's only one ranked playlist so ranked doesn't need a sub menu. Right. But <laughs> if if we had more ranked playlists like we would expect then I would agree. You have your social and your social sub menu and you have ranked and then you have your ranked sub menu and it keeps it clean because you you don't really need to be browsing through all the choices of those at the same exact time you're most likely you're going in with the idea that you're either going to play ranked or you're going to play social right right and so i think that's definitely something that could work i think you and i both kind of agree like yeah the ui right now in halo if it's like not the best but certainly not terrible at least i went i wouldn't say well, that far but it's yeah, certainly could use well, improvements and i think they recognize that I would put it this way. There's times where I'm using it and I'm like, this is semi annoying, mm. but it's never been to the part the point where it's actively hindering my experience. So there's bigger things I'd, I'd rather see worked on than a UI rework for season two. But uh, right. then again, that could be a different team that does that. So maybe, but I, if I was to estimate if we were going to get a menu, uh, a UI update, I mean, MCC got one at one point, if you remember that. So it's not, right. it's not unheard of for 343 to completely revamp the UI. I wouldn't be able to guess when, but I would probably guess probably a couple years down the line before we see a full menu UI kind of overhaul. If we ever see any, I think the, the, the current version is with some little changes i think you can make it more functional where then you would click in the social and then you'd have your team slayer your free for all your swat all those options that we currently have in the game that you have to scroll through i think you could kind of lump those together and maybe clean up the front page ui a little bit well actually we're kind of talking about season two which should kind of i think would kind of take us into our next question here from nathan borton Yes, uh, do you think 343 will meet the deadlines they put on themselves for season two content? It seems like all the problems with their coding during dev time are causing things to be difficult. Uh, do you think that these delays are due to the code of the game or something else? Took first crack last time, I'll let you get the first crack. Do you think season two is going to get it delayed? I hope, I hope to God it doesn't get delayed. Let's just, let's, <laughs> let's, to put it, to put it bluntly, 
I don't think this game in its current state can sustain a season two delay. We need season two to come out, even if it's not the most substantive season two, we need something because the game's just so dry right now and we've already seen kind of the player base not doing the best. They already delayed it out to six months instead of three, like the seasons were supposed to be. So if they were to delay it another three months or another six months, it's gonna be rough pickings for the people that are still playing just cause, right. you know, we, we need some new content, some new playlists, some new game modes, new something. We need something new. <laughs> I, would, I would hope that at least like with season one, like they recognize that six months without like a significant update for like a live service game for a brand new title out there that you would have to put out something new right it's just it's too long and those events aren't doing enough sometimes in some games events are almost like pseudo seasonal updates right but in infinite they're not they're literally like some skins and a playlist yeah nothing yeah it's nothing really too crazy where you feel like oh my god i need to jump back and play some halo you know no something and, like and that. especially especially in the case of tenrai now the fiesta's in the game all the time anyways the tenrai season or the tenrai event when it comes back all six times there's nothing there it's mainly like if you're like a really big halo fan you kind of like want to collect all the things as much as you can for halo then you'll definitely jump in and play it but if you're just kind of a casual person who you know plays halo a little bit as well that maybe you'd be like yeah it's just more stuff you know Nothing really too crazy. Yeah, so to, to wrap it to wrap it all back to your original point, do I think bugs and stuff are the reason kind of the game is season two might get delayed? I mean that's so hard to know from our point of view. I mean some of the things that 343 says and some of the things we see in the game lead you to believe maybe the code for this game isn't necessarily as clean as you would want it to be, but it's pure speculation. I mean, how many years did, did Destiny say, or did Bungie say that the engine was holding back Destiny? And Destiny seems to be doing all right. So I mm. I, I feel like you can only blame the engine for so much. Yeah, I mean, there's also, there's also this kind of aspect of knowing your limitations and being able to deliver something at a proper time scale as well. We gen generally, as gamers, uh, we tend to blame the publishers for games being pushed out at like an improper time say like battlefield 2042 for the most recent example i'd say is definitely experiencing that kind of uh pushback but it's also a bit on the developers end as well knowing what they can accomplish with what the tools that they have within a certain amount of time if i do i think that there's going to be a delay no um i'm i'm sure they will have some cut content for season two's release that they probably wanted to put in the game that's literally like every time a game developer releases something out there that there is going to be cut content no matter what it, though it does kind of depend like what really is going to be like the content that bring people back because that's kind of supposed to be like the idea of having these seasons right is that like they're the big swell of like new stuff to do in the game and like having some new maps, maybe a new weapon here or there would be something fun to play around with, but is that going to be something that's going to make people, you know, who haven't played Halo in like a week or like four weeks or whatever to come back and play Halo so they can play on like two new maps and like a, like three new weapons or something? If season two is going to be this grand revival some people want it to be, I think it needs to be more than just a map or two and a game mode or two. It needs to be something like more fresh and grand, yeah. but I really don't foresee it being that. I I imagine it'll just be like a couple arena maps, maybe a BTB map, maybe some game modes. The like King of the Hill has been floating around in some of those leaks. We need a grand scale, like more social-esque mode. Mm -hmm. And we just don't have that at the moment because BTB 2.0 just kind of it's fine, but it just, I don't think it does enough for like a new experience. It's just more BTB. There really isn't like anything like brand new or crazy that like Halo's ever done before, but that's like nothing really there. Like I remember when like they revealed like BTB 2.0 or I guess bigger team battle, whatever you want to call it. I was like, well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's cool. Um, but it didn't really like wow me at first. I was kind of hoping for like a wow factor with the release of Halo if it's multiplayer, but um, I didn't really experience that, but of course I'm like, I think the gameplay itself holds up well enough to where you want to keep playing if you're a Halo fan. This, uh, actually, this is going to be the last question here got lined up. This is from Wolf Drago X. This, how long do you think it's going to take until this game feels complete? He puts it in quotations there. Uh, I hope by Season 3 or Season 4, uh, this game feels complete, but I uh, could also see it taking longer than that. Hopefully, it won't. Um, I'll take. I'll let you take the lead on this one because I know you've been kind of uh, 
having strong opinions on how the completeness <laughs> yeah, of Halo sure. is. All right, if we look back at Halo 5, I think most people would say Halo 5 felt like a complete game about a year after launch. Once they kind of finished that main first year of updates. And unfortunately, I, I don't think Infinite is headed in that same track. I think we're probably looking a year and a half, two years, just for the game to feel like a proper Halo game. And then hopefully from there they can build upon that because we still need, obviously, super huge aspects like Forge. And I think things like theater need fixes pretty badly before someone would consider that complete or just like the entire custom game experience kind of needs to maybe not be revamped, but just fixed because currently saving custom games and everything like that isn't working very well. So I think there's there's a lot of, of stuff that 343 needs to do in terms of Forge, probably another game, like another big game mode, because if you think back, every Halo post like Halo 3 had a big grand game mode and we're not talking just BTB and Infinite's missing that along with things like Forge and a lot of these fixes before the game will feel kind of like a complete Halo game to me. Yeah, from my experience that it feels like this launch is kind of like how like Destiny 1 and well Destiny 2 as well kind of launched where initially it felt really great but it kind of lacked the content that really kind of keep people playing or sticking with the game. And it seems like it needs like a, after the first year of like fixes and, you know, community feedback, something like that, they're working on the game. Then everything starts feeling pretty good. Like kind of expecting the same kind of experience we're here too. It's like, I'm giving it like a full year's worth of development. The reason why I like Halo so much is like why it's my favorite shooter is because there are so many things to do in Halo. And it causes all these different sub communities to have their own kind of different ways to play Halo. And so if your way of playing Halo isn't doing very well or not in the game at all, Halo that it's launched for you to you is pretty terrible. But if you're someone like me who just like likes playing solo campaign, likes playing Team Slayer ranked and like big team battle, well, the game that you want to play is all there for you, you know? And without a doubt, a year or two down the line, Halo Infinite will be a better game than it is now. It's yeah. just a question of, of what, what the player base does in a reaction to that. Because Halo 5 was a great game a couple years after launch, but it was also extremely niche and kind of forgotten by the mainstream by that point. And so mm -hmm. that's that's my biggest worry with Infinite is that it'll take too long to be complete, too long to be a good game, and it'll never totally die. It's not going to get shut down, but instead of being a top 5 or 10 game, it'll be a top 50 game, you know? Mm -hmm. It'll just have its niche hardcore community, and that's kind of it. Yeah, that's, but I think that the gameplay of Halo Infinite is still strong enough to where people would want to just like have an itch to play Halo. And I think Halo Infinite does a great job of capturing that. And plus we had that rumored uh, certain affinity mode, which is supposed to be kind of like a really bigger casual mode coming yeah. to Halo Infinite now. I, I'm getting, when I hear that, I get my hopes up probably too much. Some people say Firefight, some people say it's Battle Royale. Maybe it's just like another version of Big Team Battle. I don't know, <laughs> you know? Oh God. <laughs> like, I liked Firefight. I like mm. Battle Royale games, but I think it would be cool to see Halo take a crack at something that isn't already kind of out in the gaming landscape. Whether or not they do, obviously is up in the air. Maybe that's a bit riskier. If that mode from Certain Affinity is a Firefight mode or a Battle Royale, I think it'll do, be, it'll do fine. But I do think it'd be really cool to see, to see instead of Halo kind of try to to kind of use things that it has or use things that are successful. If we saw something totally new that had the chance to just take over the whole gaming landscape, similar to how Battle Royale did like four or five years ago, I think that would be sick. I really liked Warzone. I think you could, mm -hmm. I think you could bring Warzone back into this game with some adjustments, obviously, to yeah. get rid of the Rex system. And I think that could be a sick mode. But yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I thought like Warzone was so close to being really good. Just like, just like, just yeah. like AI battles didn't really feel that engaging, especially the person who, whoever puts the last shot and gets all the points. It's just really, a really frustrating experience, at least from my experience of playing it. But like. Doing like that first person shooter MOBA kind of game mode. Which, yeah, that's kind of what they went yeah, at. Yeah, and I, we I thought it was really super seen, cool. Yeah, we haven't seen anything like that even since Halo 5 either. And I think there's no. certainly, certainly with Halo 5's AI, uh, or Halo Infinite's AI, I should say, when it comes to like campaign stuff, like it's certainly there. Like they could definitely pull off something really yeah. cool. But yeah, I think we're getting a little sidetracked with that <laughs> a little bit. We got to talk about Battle Royale and stuff like that, but uh, kind of gets random back things when it comes to feeling complete. Uh, for Halo Infinite, I'd say 
probably a full year, I think is what we really need. After year one, then I think things will be in a pretty good state. Yeah, I, I would say uh, we're probably looking at two years. So I don't know if the game will feel totally complete by season three, unless they get Forge in. If they do get Forge by season three, it's, it's a discussion. But if Forge gets pushed to season four, then obviously that's different. I'll say this last thing. I know we've gone long, but I think <laughs> one thing to me that kind of sheds some light into the kind of the state of Forge is think back to H5. We had Forge maps in matchmaking before the public could use Forge, obviously. Right. And we haven't heard any murmurs of that or anything. And I think Forge maps would greatly benefit this game at the moment. So I, I have to imagine that Forge is not even in a state that you could finish a map at the moment, if I had to guess. There are 10 total with like seven of them being Arena 3, them being BTB. That you go like, yeah, yeah you might need to throw in a couple Forge maps to kind of just, you know, pad out the, uh, you know, the, the variation a little bit. And the fact we didn't get anything like that. Or maybe we were already playing on the Forge map, we just don't even recognize it. Oh, Ooh. what if these are all Forge maps? <laughs> Dude, if these well, are shit. all Forge maps, that would be insane. <laughs> They're all Forge maps except Behemoth. Fuck Behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> except Behemoth. <laughs> uh, well, Arash, I appreciate you coming by chatting about some Halo. Uh, if you guys don't know Arash, I'm sure many of you do, also has his own YouTube channel. If you guys wanted to check out some more Halo content creators out there, definitely want to check out Arash. I uh, definitely has some good takes, some interesting point of view that I think would be good to listen to. And, uh, but yeah, make sure you give him a follow and uh, we'll catch you guys all in the next episode. Peace out. Thanks for having me.